Maranatha, page 212, The Ceiling and the Latter Rain, July 23rd. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having the seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. 2 Timothy 2, verse 19. Before the work is closed up and the sealing of God's people is finished, we shall receive the outpouring of the Spirit of God. Angels from heaven will be in our midst. Our Heavenly Father claims not at our hands that which we cannot perform. He desires His people to labor earnestly to carry out His purpose for them. They are to pray for power, expect power, and receive power, that they may grow up into the full stature of men and women in Christ Jesus. Not all members of the church are cultivating personal piety. Therefore, they do not understand their personal responsibility. They do not realize that it is their privilege and duty to reach the high standard of Christian perfection. Are we looking forward to the latter rain, confidently hoping for a better day when the church shall be endued with power from on high and thus fitted for work? The latter rain will never refresh and invigorate the indolent who do not use the powers God has given them. We are in great need of the pure, life-giving atmosphere that nurtures and invigorates the spiritual life. We need greater earnestness. The solemn message given us to give to the world is to be proclaimed with greater fervency, even with the intensity that will impress unbelievers, leading them to see that the Most High is working with us that He is the source of our efficiency and strength? Are you using all your powers in an effort to bring the lost sheep back to the fold? There are thousands upon thousands in ignorance who might be warned. Pray as you have never prayed before for the power of Christ. Pray for the inspiration of His Spirit that ye may be filled with the desire to save those who are perishing. Let the prayer ascend to heaven. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that thy way may be known upon the earth thy saving health among all nations Psalm 67 verses 1 and 2 This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges Maranatha Jesus is coming again Get ready Get ready Get ready <laughs>